Ever wonder what happens when your body's own filtering system breaks down? I'm talking about your kidneys. These amazing organs are like super high-tech water filters for your blood, working 24-7 to remove waste, balance your body's chemistry, and even control your blood pressure. They're unsung heroes. But what happens when they stop working properly? When things like chronic kidney disease, diabetes, or high blood pressure cause them to fail, it's like a citywide garbage strike. Toxins and excess fluid build up and it can become life-threatening. That's where a life-saving process called dialysis comes in. It's important to know, though, that dialysis isn't a cure. It's a support system, an artificial kidney that steps in to do the job your own kidneys can no longer handle. So how does it actually work? There are two main types. The one you've probably seen in movies is hemodialysis. This is where your blood is drawn out, passed through a machine with a special filter called a dialyzer. That's the artificial kidney. And then the clean blood is returned to your body. Think of it like taking your car for a deep engine clean. The other type is called peritoneal dialysis, and it's pretty incredible. It uses the natural lining of your own abdomen, the peritoneum, as a filter. A special cleansing fluid is put into your belly. It draws out waste and extra fluid from your blood, and then it's drained out. It's a more internal, gentle process. The science behind both is actually pretty simple. It relies on two principles you learned in high school biology, diffusion and osmosis. Diffusion is how waste products move from your blood, where they're highly concentrated, into the dialysis fluid, where they're not. Imagine dropping a tea bag into hot water. The flavor spreads out, that's diffusion. Osmosis is how excess water is pulled out of your blood. It's like when you sprinkle salt on a cucumber slice and you see water beat up on the surface. That's osmosis at work, drawing the water out. So what's daily life like for someone on dialysis? For hemodialysis, it's often three sessions a week, each lasting about four hours. Patients describe it like a long train ride or a part-time job. You sit, you read, you watch movies, you nap. For peritoneal dialysis, it's often done at home, sometimes overnight while you sleep. It's like running the dishwasher. You set it up and it does its job in the background. Now let's clear up a few myths. Is it painful? Besides the initial needle prick for hemodialysis, the process itself isn't painful. And most importantly, life doesn't stop. People on dialysis can and do work, travel, and enjoy their hobbies. It requires planning and adjustments for sure. But it's absolutely not a life sentence confined to a chair. Ultimately, dialysis is a bridge. It's a bridge to a better quality of life. A bridge that prevents dangerous toxins from taking over. And for many, it's a bridge to a kidney transplant. It's a testament to modern medicine, giving people precious time and the chance to keep living their lives to the fullest.